Hi, I'm Kelly, your EV girl, and today we're at the San Diego Auto Show where we will be on the hunt for electric vehicles. Let's go take a look, but first, there's just an electric cord hanging out here from the ceiling. I think that's kind of dangerous. Like, we're all for electric vehicles here, but I don't think we need a plug hanging in the middle. So over here, we finally get to see the all new electric Audi e-tron. We have been on the hunt for this vehicle literally since the Fort Worth Auto Show where they said they would debut it, but it wasn't there when we went. Every time we see the Audi e-tron, it's very difficult for us to like actually even touch the car or even get in it because it's always boxed in the glass, which, you know, it's kind of a big disappointment to me, especially on a press day. Like I would expect them to allow press to go in it so we finally found the Audi e-tron, which we can actually get in. Let's get in and take a look since this is my very first time sitting in an e-tron. So um, whoever was in this car last was clearly taking a nap in the driver's seat, which is not safe. <laughs> Tip number one, Audi obviously being a big luxury vehicle brand obviously i would assume that they have electric power seats which they do so that makes me pretty happy and i don't understand what this weird this thing i don't know i've never understood it it makes me really uncomfortable and i don't know how to fix it it sticks out like you not see the seat sticking out like this thing i don't i mean i it is for people who have long legs but you know i don't have long legs this whole door handle for some reason just reminds me of the Lamborghini Urus. The Urus has that really like weird hexagon shape and all that stuff, which I mean, all right, it's weird, but you know, I kind of like it. So, you know, that door handle kind of gives me some Lamborghini vibes. I really like how the buttons are all touch in here because it doesn't, like, there is one big blank button in the car, which, you know, I, I just, it really bothers me, but you know, you can't do anything about it. But I mean, the other buttons, like the climate control, the hazard lights are like, oh, that's a, that's like not even a button. It's like a button, but it's not a button. So it's like, does that make any sense? It's basically just one big button with different pressure points. That's, that's what it is, hypothetically. I don't really know what side marker lights are, but they're on. And Audi's a luxury vehicle automaker, so they're obviously gonna like pay attention to, what is this? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, I guess the driver has an own glove box, but I don't really know what you would. It's very deep. I just don't know what you would keep in here. <laughs> well, the sunroof is, uh, I'd like to say, a panoramic roof, but it's not as big as the eye pace because the eye pace is the roof is practically all glass, which I just really love because you know I love that sunlight. Based on what I know, I think if I had to choose between the Jaguar I-Pace and the Audi e-tron, I would probably go with the I-Pace. I am more of an SUV type of person, but I would take the I-Pace as a crossover. I just feel like a lot of people affiliate electric vehicles with golf carts and kind of just like that whole plastic look and everything since it, since it is all electric and it runs on battery. My point is, why the hell are people making electric vehicles look like golf carts? Yes, the interior is gorgeous and beautiful. Like I really like the interior and everything but it because it feels like just a normal audi most electric vehicles when you like the place where you need to plug them in you kind of just push on the latch or there's like a button in the driver's side that you can push but you know on here you just push a door and it because <laughs> millennials are lazy i don't know i just i like that i personally think all of electric vehicles should have a feature like this that you just push a button on the outside or inside and the latch like automatically opens like that this changed my mind about everything about this car. Well, that's it for now. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know how I'm doing in the comments section below. I'm Kelly, your EV girl. Thanks for watching. Do you hear that? That means it's plastic. <laughs>